almost 3,000 people died that day. And for the longest time, I always wondered why had I been saved. And it was like I was spared when so many people weren't. Ten years later, Judy Colfer's escape from the North Tower of the World Trade Center still feels like yesterday. I can see everything happening to me if it was that day all over again. You never lose the sounds, the sights, the taste of everything that happened that day. That day was supposed to involve a quick seminar for her employer and then a flight back home. About uh, 8.30 or so, the seminar started, and 15 minutes later, like all hell broke loose. The building shook violently. The security guard rushed everyone into the stairwell. You didn't know where you were going or what really was happening. They just wanted us out. We got in the stairwell, and they had us all line up. And you looked down over the edge, and all you could see was these hundreds of people down there in front of you. Judy was on the 55th floor. I never prayed Jennifer so much of my life. The power went out, and soon the smell of diesel fuel became sickening. Firefighters tossed down water bottles and paper towels. It's like, just soak this and pass it on to the next person so you people can at least breathe. Finally, she was in the dark subway level below the Trade Center. The more custom you got to the darkness, you could just see this. And it, it was like, oh my God, if the bottom of the building looks this way, what does the rest of this building look like? She made it out of the building just minutes before the first tower came down. It was like, you're dead. You didn't make it out of that building you're dead because it was just so, so thick and you, there was nothing around you. And I started crying again and I, this woman's voice, I heard a woman's voice, reach out, reach out your hand. And I had no idea what I was reaching out to. And I put my hand out and the next thing I knew, I felt another hand around mine. She was picked up by a cab on the Brooklyn Bridge and was taken in by a man's family she shared that cab with but it will be hours before she would know about the terrorist attacks or be able to speak with her own family. Everything that happened in New York, but it's like, what, what did all the families go through that day? Because my families went through hell too. Her family saw the tower she was in come down. Here's Brendan, where's my mother? And is she dead? And Jesus, all I could think of telling him is, you know your mom. There's a way out of that building. She found it. Her faith, her family, and her friends helped her through the difficult months that followed. When my husband passed away from cancer in 2004, then I knew why I had been spared. God allowed me to live to raise our boys. And she treasures every day with them. Those precious moments are fleeting. You can't recapture them. They don't come back. Jennifer Abney. Channel 11 News.